cut with the laser engraver, the specific project that you're going to be working on is making some sort of keychain. There's two real approaches to this. You could either make a simple shape like a circle or a rectangle or square and then do an engraving inside of it. Or you can trace some type of image, engrave within that image, and then that's your keychain. So I'll go over both scenarios just to give you a little idea. The first thing that you have to think about is what size do you want the keychain to be because you want to set up your artboard to that size. Keychains are usually pretty small, so I'm going to stick with a 2x2 two two as our max dimensions here. And I want to make sure my x, y is 0, 0 in the top left corner. That top left corner is where our origin is for the laser engraver. Big difference between the laser engraver and the CNC machine is on the laser engraver, the origin is always the top left. So on your artboard, you need to make sure x, y is 0, 0 um, when you're in the top left here. And then your width and height is whatever you want. Usually it's your piece of wood, but in, when you're cutting things out, it is a little different because you're cutting out from a big piece. So when you're cutting out a piece of wood, you want to set it to the max dimensions of what the piece of wood is going to be. Then I'll hit exit. And this is my two by two area. Chances are you're going to cut out of a big sheet of plywood that might be 10 inches by 12 inches or something like that. So this is just a little piece of that. We need to actually cut it. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'm going to put in the dimensions two by two again. Now the rectangle is symbolizing what's going to get cut. Uh, I'm going to make the top left corner zero, zero. So this rectangle is the full outline of my artboard. Now this is really important, this information here. We don't want a fill of white, we want no fill. White is a color. So when you engrave and you're engraving something white, it, it will actually mark the material. So this white with an X, you could see it says none, that means there's no fill, and I want no fill. Now I do want a stroke because in order for the laser engraver to cut, you need to have a red line that's 0 0.072 points thick. Lines are, the thickness of a line is measured in points. So I have to take my stroke here, I'm hitting red, but I also need to come over here to the colors and it needs to specifically be 255 red. If you just set it to red, it's not going to actually cut it out. You need to set it to 255 red and then put zero and zero here. If you don't do this, it will not cut. So I can click off this. I need to change my thickness to 0 0.072. And now it's going to cut that square out. Now it's hard to see because the, that line is so thin but if I actually move it over here temporarily, um, and I zoom in, you could actually see there is a line here. Now I'm going to move that back to where it was originally, because again, that's symbolizing an area that's going to be cut. I want to cut out this rectangle. If you mess with this, the shape tool here, you could actually have rectangles with rounded corners and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm not going to mess with that in this video. I know I want some type of circle.
So I also know I want some type of circle. So if I right click on this tool here, I can get other um, similar functions. So the eclipse tool uh, will enable me to draw a circle. Here again, I can set my width and height. So if you make the width and height the same, instead of being an eclipse, it's, it's just a circle. Uh, I'll set a relatively small circle. And it's going to remember these settings. So if you look here, the stroke is already um, the 255 red and the thickness of 0 0.072, which is great for us because that means we don't need to redo those settings. I have this circle here because this is going to be a keychain, so um, you need a hole somewhere so you can put the fastener through it. If you don't want to do a keychain, if you want to cut out something decorative for this project, you can. The point is just that you learn how to cut out something. Now I'm going to go in online. I'm taking this image and I'm going to paste it inside my keychain because I want it to engrave this. I find that you often have to change the zoom when you're copying and pasting things. I actually want to make sure this is centered, so I'm clicking the center part here, and I'm making it 1-1, one, because one, that would be the center point of this, the middle. So that's the cool thing about Illustrator. You can actually take the middle and then give, give a specific X, Y coordinate. Sometimes when you're working with V-Carve, it's kind of difficult to really put something in the middle. You just kind of have to eyeball it and guess Illustrator is more powerful in that sense. So I got my circle over here in red. I got my rectangle in red. That's on the whole border of this thing. And I have my logo. Now I just want to note that because I'm not making any changes to this logo, I don't want to take out the background or remove text or anything. I, I don't have to trace it. You trace things to make it a vector and you can end up editing vectors and removing them and deleting them and stuff. If you don't want to make any changes to something like this, you can just leave it and you're good to go. Now I want to show you a dis different approach to this project. Let's say I want to make a I want to cut out a keychain in the shape of something. So in this one, I'm going to change my dimensions slightly. I'm going to go three by two as my starting point here. Let's say I want to use this image and I want to cut out this uh, outline of Puerto Rico. Like we talked about before, this image, it's in pixels. The CNC machine can only cut out on vectors, mathematical points. The laser engraver can only cut out on mathematical points, which are vectors. It can engrave something that's in pixels, so we could engrave this onto a piece of wood, but it can't cut it out. How do we get it so we could cut out this outline? Well, we have to trace it. So you would have to pick out something that is going to trace it good. In my case, Silhouette looks really good for this. I hit Expand. Uh, I want to ungroup it because I only want this main part here. And I'm going to delete what I don't want. So now I'm left with my outline, which I want to cut out. Again, I'm going to take my fill and I'm going to set it to nothing. 
and I have to put on a stroke. And I'm setting that stroke to the red. I have to make it the 255, 0, 0. And I have to set my thickness to 0 0.072. And then I would move it over here. If I wanted to end up, you know, making my artboard bigger, I could do that. So you might take a guess on what dimensions that you want and then find out that you actually need to change them because it might look funny. Like this is two and about almost three by one. I, I'm happy with that. It's good enough for what I want. Actually, I think I'm going to make it a little bigger here. Sometimes you have to play around with it until you get some settings that you think look good. So since my artboard is bigger, I can make this bigger. Again, I want to do a keychain, so I'm going to make the eclipse so I cut cuts out a hole here one thing I want to point out here is you can change the tool that's here by right clicking and selecting something so since I had used the eclipse tool last it defaults to the Eclipse tool. If I want to change to go back to the Rectangular tool, I have to right-click and then select the Rectangular tool. So that's something to know about. Sometimes people get frustrated because they don't know that. Um, but I have to finish doing my Eclipse stuff. And then I'm going to move that hole to the top left corner again because I think it's good spot for it. Now maybe I want to put a picture in here. I could put a picture in here. Let's say I want to put my name if you want to engrave something I could go online here and Take this, and I can put it in here to get engraved. Sometimes if you do want to enlarge things a lot, it helps to trace it first. Since I'm not enlarging, I'm minimizing, it's, this is probably going to be fine. It's also just a sample. This is actually a really good example. If you look here, there's double lines. Um, I When it traced it, it actually made two sets of lines here. So I have to delete one, otherwise it would cut cut it twice which isn't what I want it to do so it does help to zoom in I didn't see that until I zoomed in a lot so I can do all sorts of stuff add images and do all sorts of crazy stuff that I want to do at this point in time um, I'm happy with my design I'd go over to the laser engraver and then I would set it up to print uh, so your two main options in my mind that you have to do for this keychain design is finding something to trace and cut like this example or doing a more traditional square or circle remember this is the here you could see it I have a square that I'm cutting out with all the information here and then I'm just engraving this picture and then again cutting out that circular hole so now we'll talk about how we send this to the laser to print and set all that up 
So now I have my two complete designs. I'm just gonna show you how you go about printing them. So same thing as engraver, you go file print. I have to go to setup, preferences, and I'm gonna put in my material information. So for this example, I'm gonna use plywood. So for plywood, I'm just gonna stick with general softwoods. I am going to put in a thickness of 0.25. Obviously, I'd have to measure that. I have to, I'm gonna increase my um, cutting just a little bit by 10%. Just sometimes I've noticed it doesn't cut all the way through, so I'm increasing that just a little bit. I'm gonna hit apply. And I'm gonna hit okay. Print, I have to make sure this is on the portrait again. Make sure the origin is the top left, zero, zero. I hit print. And now when I go into the UCP, I see my red line, so I know it's gonna be cutting. I see it, the hole and the image, and I can tell it's good to go. Now, what you might have some issues with is, we're probably gonna be taking a large sheet of material and cutting out multiple keychains. So you might not know exactly where it is. But the cool thing about the software is number one, we can manually move this. If we click this move tool, we can move around our image in different areas of the workspace. And to know where the laser actually is, if you open the lid of the engraver and you click the focus view, we can click a point and the, now the laser is actually gonna to move to this point. And when the lid is open, it emits an LED so we can look and see, is it in a good spot? So for this project, we'll have a piece of stock and a bunch of you will end up cutting out your keychains out of the same material because you're not using a lot of material. It doesn't make sense for everybody to make their own um, little piece.